review of the Bang Olufsen Form 2i and a slight comparison with, with a Sennheiser PX100 version 2i. Um, my main reason for getting my, the Form 2i was that my yeah, Sennheiser broke and I needed a replacement for everyday use, preferably something with an open back design because I don't like the I like to shut out too much much sound in my daily work. To you who don't know, the Form 2i is a continued product since uh, the 80s, um, with yeah over the years slight improvements. This is the latest iteration released last month. It improved upon the design by including a volume up and down rocker and a, a iPhone controls, as well as a built-in microphone, as always. Also evident in the new jack. Um, on the points where these headphones do really excel is sound uh, sound quality wise in the mid range in mid range and and high and in high trebles they're exceedingly clear even more so than what you would experience with the Sennheisers. Um, besides that, the bass is okay but um, and well defined as well but as compared to Sennheiser's there's a bit less bass but something that's easily remedied with few equalizer settings and if you've seen any other reviews of Form 2 eyes that's uh, Form 2's it's a general um, trend that they're really well, de well defined in mid-range and highs and less punchy in the bass zones but something that's easily ramified with a bit of uh, equalizing um, of course, on the issue of wearing the uh, burn-in, it's also always a, a difficult point because some say it's uh, more psychological, some say there is something to it. My experience was with them was that I, I started thinking there was a bit too lot, uh, little bass, and but over the last week, I've yeah, it's really seemed to have developed, or I've just gotten used to it. Don't know. Um, on account of comfort, they're probably the most comfortable headphones I've ever had. Um, they're a lot equal. They look, look a lot like in design as the Sennheisers, at least with the padded uh, foam cups and slim line design. But they put a lot less pressure on your ears, and you can easily wear them for a whole day without any discomfort. Um, oh, and of course, on the account of the uh, one of the news, the new edition, of course, the uh, iPhone controls works absolutely splendid. They're a lot more responsive than what you saw, pre what I previously was used to on the Sennheisers. Um, there is maybe a tendency to double click some of the buttons when you press the middle, both hitting apparently both volume vo rockers and next pause, pause play button as well. But uh, since I have an Android phone, that's not really an issue since the volume rockers and uh, working there, but just a nice hint iPhone controls do work on most Android phones in my case uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 so just if anybody wanted to know it's still a, uh, possible <laughs> it's still possible to use the controls of course they're not a folding they're a rigid design so you have no, there's no possibility to fold them, as opposed to with Sennheisers. But all in all, they're so light and a lot more stylish than the Sennheisers, so you don't really notice them when you have when you're wearing them around your neck, and it's more or less a permanent neck band for me now. I'll just switch camera angle for a moment here, and we'll you can see me with them on. As you see, there are quite a range of motion for fitting it to different size heads. Mine is uh, quite a large head, so I think it would fit most heads. Um, but all in all, by far the best headphones I've ever had. Um, on account of price, they're quite nice, uh, reasonably priced. I bought mine for 1,000 Danish kroners. That's in a B&O store. That's about 130 dollars, as far as I remember. They come with a free uh, warranty from Bang & Olufsen, so that's great. So. I intend to be using them for the full, to the fullest the next three years, and hopefully, hopefully they'll serve me well. Thank you for listening. Bye.